look at this nice big box of HMI marker sets. So as far as I'm aware, they've never done markers before. These are the same people that do jelly gouache. So let's see what they're like. And uh, I'm very excited because I've always really liked everything that has been Himmy gouache related. Didn't know you get marker paper with it. That's pretty cool. Thank you, a little freebie. Although it seems like the box is bigger than the actual box. What's this though? What's this? Okay, let's get the smaller box out of the bigger box. Nice design as always with Himmy, HMI, MI. I don't know how, how do you say it? Whatever it is, you know them. You love them, you like to see it. Okay, let's open these bad boys up. Oh, okay, it comes with a cute little handle, which is covered in plastic. Okay, there we go, here we go. Ooh, look at that, it's like a, comes in a solid container, which is really interesting because I've never had that with pens before. The Artex ones I've had before came with a material case. So let's see how this one does. Very nice so far, the box feels pretty sturdy, like, Solid plastic, you know, you get that cheap plastic sometimes. Uh, let's see, open it up. And this is what they look like. They are super different, as you would expect from this brand. They look completely strange with this like thin tipped style. This is how they look close up, very thin. So you can differentiate them from other brands. Say Himmy on them and they are a brush tip, which you love to see it. Everyone loves brush tip and a chisel tip that I may use occasionally once a year. But very nice. It has the color and the name of the color on the top and on the bottom, which is handy. Meanwhile, I want to see what's in this box because it feels like there's something in here and I'm not sure if that... Ow, 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 my nail. Oh my gosh, my nail is looking awful. Okay, just ignore my nails, all right? I can't open this, so it might be a tear job. There we go. What's inside? Ooh! Pencil with a cat on it. What is this? Okay, I've got two pencils and some sort of marker. Uh, what is this? Oh, it's an extender. I think it's a pencil extender, but I don't know why there's like two ends to it. There we go, super long pencil. Well, thank you. I, I guess these are kind of freebies from HMI. See, I always get confused. Mia, HMI, am I? Or is it Mia? Or is it HMI? You know. But thanks for the, the freebies, I guess. But I'm more interested in these crazy looking futuristic pens. So let's get started. Probably not gonna use the marker pad, but I will test out the colors on them just to show you guys. If you aren't into swatching or testing as like, I'm not really into it, but I wanna show you guys. So skip ahead to see me like just drawing my sketch pad, I guess. I can't open this. <laughs> This channel should just be renamed the struggles of trying to open and stuff. Here it is, the marker paper. Looks nice. And uh, let's just trust this out. Trust. Ooh, very solid color. I am really liking these already. I wanna just see, I usually use like this kind of light violet as a shadow on some. And I just wanna see how they interact. Obviously that's quite wet still, but. This is a nice color as well. If you know me, I'm a little bit obsessed with like blues and purples and pinks, so that's kind of my vibe. So this is just a swatchy session just to see how much they bleed. Obviously, I think they'll probably bleed more in my sketchbook where it isn't necessarily marker paper, so this is just testing how they go. Very nice. I think what I'm going to do is do a TikTok or a short of me swatching the colours on this piece of paper with all of these, so if you want to watch that, then stay tuned. <laughs> that was embarrassing. Okay, let's just get down to drawing. And I just realised as well that they give you a rubber, which I just didn't notice, but very nice. Thank you. A bit of a freebie, I guess, because I bought it for the pens, so it's always nice to have a little extra something something. I want to do a spread, so I think I'm going to get two pages that are nice and clean and new and intimidating so i've got some references that i want to do on interest in front of me i've also got my pencils uh all sharpened because basically i like to use aqua markers with pencils in case you never watched my channel before that's my process so oh my gosh that was kind of hard to pick up then uh in case you're wondering 
do these bleed through the paper? Probably they do, although this is quite thick paper. But I've got my little test page here, so let's check it out. And it doesn't bleed too much on this paper as well, which is quite nice. This sketchbook is unnamed. Uh, no, it is. It is named. It's the Talons Art Creation A4 book. Kind of liking it so far. I don't know where my test page went now. But it's there. I'm pressing really hard to just see if it does bleed through, but it didn't necessarily touch that page, which is good. All right. I'm ready to have some fun. So I've got a bit of a reference in front of me on Pinterest. What I like to do is get lots of references. If I just want to test something out and draw it, I think it's nice to just get reference images and just chill and like try to replicate them kind of in your style and see how they do. I think this woman that I'm drawing, she has very, 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 very light complexion. And this one is very, 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 very pink, but it doesn't matter. It would have been cool to do like this ghostly complexion that she has, but what ifs? So what I like to do is do like block out colors with alcohol marker. Okay, that's a nice orange. It looks a little bit more brown on the, the lid, but I think sometimes they don't necessarily convey what colour they are on the top so that's something to bear in mind. That's why you do swatches which I haven't done yet. I'm a kind of a haphazard artist uh, if you're new to my channel. I just go with it. I just go with the flow sometimes. I have to say that these are bleeding into itself nicely if that makes sense which is the whole point of alcohol markers not to see that kind of like felt tip line and you can see a little bit of it happening, but it's nice. It's like cooling of this color, which is really, really very good. I'm very excited to have new alcohol markers because my alcohol markers are currently in storage. Um, I have a few here, but it's nice to get a new set, isn't it? Let's be real. It's always good to get new art supplies, especially if you have a YouTube channel and you test art supplies. <laughs> I bought these with my own money, by the way. This is not sponsored, just to say that. But I'm enjoying them and I'm, I'm really liking them so far. They're kind of, you know, it's nothing new, I would say. They're just as good as any other marker. I wouldn't say they were better or worse, but they're nice. I like the, the shape of them. Quite nice to hold, a little grippy area. Yeah, so she has her hand like here. So I'm gonna leave a space there for her hand. Maybe it's best to draw her hand first. And now I can't remember what colour the skin tone was. I think it was this one. Yeah. Okay. Good work. Good work, me remembering things. So she's kind of doing that thing where she's like, my hands, they're so delicate. I'm such a delicate lady. So they're going around like that and then there's like a darkness underneath. Okay. Cool. I like to talk myself through the process of drawing hands because it's a very scary moment for a lot of us. And yeah. I want to get this shimmery effect that this corset has, so if I can do that, that would be ace. It kind of has like this lighter colour going on. Convey it somehow. Be a lighter yellow than the Y3. I think that might be the lightest yellow. I have Y1, Y4. I don't see Y3. Y3. But this one might work, even though it's probably going to be a bit more greeny. There you go. Yeah, it's much lighter. And I think we can use it as like a shadow for this like silky, nope, don't want to use that. But I do want to use like a light, light blue, which could be this one. It's too dark. Maybe, oh, that's a really loud sound when it goes back in. Yeah, maybe like a grey. So let's just add a little bit of depth to this because the sleeves are super like poofy. So it'd be nice to try and indicate that with a bit of shadow behind her. The skirt plumes out like this. Lovely, lovely. My blue one that I used. You see, this is why you pay attention to what you're doing. I think that is not it, but it's close enough. The image ends there, so I'm just gonna just do a straight line, whatever. This one doesn't feel as juicy as the others, this marker, so. I think it might be my paper is very absorbent, whereas the paper that they supplied me probably isn't that absorbent, so it's a bit easier to have juiciness. Ah, Lord, juiciness. 
and I love, absolutely love layering alcohol markers because I just think you get such a nice look and feel. She's got like such a strong shadow there on her cheek and her eye here and of course across this whole entire bit of her face and behind and then her collarbone, this clavicle here. Just really like indicating shadows as well with these markers. I think definitely alcohol markers are my favorite medium to use. I've used them all for my comics and I like using, I like painting obviously, it's very fun, but I think there's just like a controlled thing that I have with using alcohol markers. I just feel more confident using them, I guess. And I enjoy it a bit more. Okay, so. I'm going to do some pink cheeks on here and some more. Oh my gosh, that's so loud. I'm so sorry. RIP um, headphone listeners, but that's not really. It's kind of dark. She has this kind of like really deep blush, like old. School. And her eyes are very, 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 very eyeshadowy. A really deep red lip because. She is so pale, but obviously I've not done her that pale, so it doesn't really work that much. And now we get into the line work. So, what I like to do now is go over the top with pencils. And most of the time I just use like a black uh, Faber-Castell pencil, which is my favourite to use. To just draw with, I really like the quality it gives me and the just deep, deep colour. I don't know what I'm saying, just, I just enjoy it. I think this is what I really like to do so let's see how it turns out Okay, so that's the basic drawing. I want to go in again because it seems to have absorbed that like red uh, or darker pink. So maybe if I try an even darker pink, it might work a bit better. So let's see. I don't know if it's going to absorb it a bit too much, but maybe if it because it was wet. Okay, so that's the first drawing, and yeah, I like it. I like these pens. They're really nice. You, there's nothing much setting them apart from everything else, but they are a good alcohol marker. So do with that what you will. I'm going to draw some more stuff and make this a whole spread. And uh, I'll talk to you guys at the end. You can stay watching uh, this moment or you can uh, skip to the end and see my final thoughts. Okay, see you in a sec.
And that's it, that's the end of the video. Let me know what you guys think about these pens. I really like them. This little carry case I can take around and I really enjoyed the process of drawing these ladies and um, feeling inspired to get going with some more drawings. So it's super good for me and I'm very happy with these markers. Let me know what you think down in the comments, but thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.